Hi, in this video I'm going to be modifying a Power Wheels type motorized gearbox for use with a transit mount trolling motor. Now I will reference a video used in this project in the narrative section of my video. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. These are some of the electronic parts I'm going to be using for this project. Right here is a two position joystick and it came with these instructions in Chinese and in case you can't read it I'm going to translate for you. So I'm going to call this the front side of this joystick switch and here you have two terminals. One is going to be for the left side and one is going to be for the right side and that's going to be determined later with your relay. Then if you turn it around to the rear or the back side where there's no sticker these are going to be your negative terminals and what I'm going to do is pigtail a negative across both these terminals. So when I was doing my testing with the gearbox I found that the best voltage to use it at was somewhere between 3.5 and 6 volts. So I have this forward reverse relay module that's set up for 5 volts and the blue indicates forward direction the black indicates your ground and the green indicates your reverse and I say it might be different because depending on how you hook it up you might need to switch these terminals and then down here you have your voltage in positive and negative and to your motor positive and negative and then you have this little indicator light here for red when it's in the forward position and green when it's in the reverse position so these are the, going to be your left and right connections to the joystick and then the center here the negative you're going to pigtail across both those and then I'll show you where these are going to be connected in this project. This item is a DC buck converter step down adjustable voltage regulator. I'm going to be using this to drop the 12 volt DC down to 5 volt DC or close to it so I can power the relay and then of course power the joystick which is going to power the gearbox. So here is your two output terminals and there's, those are going to be going to the relay and your input is your battery connections. Then here's a little meter so you can see what your output voltage is going to be and this little screw here that's your adjustable screw that will allow you to change the voltage. I wanted to mention something about the gearbox motor here. Now you can see it has slots in here and that's because there's a cooling fan inside because when it's used with the ride-on toy it generates a lot of heat. Now because it's going to be used just to momentarily turn the shaft of a trolling motor I don't anticipate it getting very hot but I would be concerned if water splashed inside these slots. Now of course I don't recommend this for salt water at all. So what I came up to do is use this fiberglass repair tape which I've used in the past to make vented PWM boxes and I'm just going to wrap it around the outside here which will keep the splashing of the water out but still allow for air to circulate in there and keep the motor cool. This is the motorized gearbox as you can see here. and the shaft needs to go through this hole here. So what you're going to need to do is open it up inside there to about whatever the diameter of your shaft is and this is a little section of a trolling motor shaft which is one and one eighth inches in diameter so if you pop it in there you kinda get an idea what you need to do. Then this is the modified bracket I'm going to be using that sets inside here to hold this in place. So once I get my shaft drilled out, I'll go ahead and mark which one of these teeth, and there's going to be two because these are 180 degrees apart, that I'm going to either shave down or snap out. So this bracket will drop down inside there, and then it'll pinch to the shaft, and then when the motor rotates, 
the motor itself will turn. You're going to need two sets of these three quarter inch galvanized split ring tubing hangers because those are going to function as your collar and gear splines on the shaft for the trolling motor and those are the ones that engage the gear teeth on the gearbox motor if all that makes sense. So anyways you're going to take these two top pieces away which have been used before in the past for foot pedal steering on a trolling motor shaft and you're just going to use these two ends because you're going to put them like this back to back. Now this is a piece of one and one eighth inch diameter trolling motor shaft. So this is what you want to do. You want to put them on either side because that's going to clamp it. But you can see there's a gap. Now you could tap them and they would fit. If you just tap down on the top here with a hammer it would expand them. But then this gap in here would get wide and then it won't fit in the gear teeth. So what you need to do is right here on all four of these you need to grind down this little corner section and I just used a file and filed it until it fit flush on the trolling motor shaft. Okay, so I opened up the hole for the shaft using a 1 and 1 8 inch hole saw and once I did that it was a little snug so I just shaved down a little bit of the inside just so the shaft would turn more freely and it worked out great. I snapped off the two teeth there and slid the unit in there and everything fits. Tightened it up and put some power to it and it spun. So on with the next part. I want to show you how I installed the L brackets here on the NK180 trolling motor mount. As you can see there, they come in here and they go behind the gearbox here which helps keep it from rotating because of the torque it puts out. And here's the other one there. And they're just screwed in there and they work just fine. This is a quick overview of the test setup. I've got the electronic components here just on this 2x4. The joystick is wired in. The forward and reverse relay. The voltage regulator. And if you look here, these are my positive and negative terminals. They're going to be going to this battery back here. Just a simple battery. And then the output from the relay goes up into there into the motor and you can see my gearing all set up there and right now the motor is not powered up but this is what it looks like sitting on the NK180 and I've got it strapped down and then I'm going to go ahead and test it and show you how it works okay what I first wanted to do is just go ahead and power this up and so you can see I'm reading three volts here and after messing around with it for a while that's the voltage I came up with after putting everything together that gives a nice smooth steering motion so that's what I went with now just watch here on the light for the relay and you'll see the different colors So that's what it looks like and I'll have to double check to make sure that left is left and right is right. I've already painted and put all the pieces back together on the trolling motor so I'm going to go ahead and test the steering function for you. and it works like it should. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.